transformation leadership part is one of the most difficult part because it involves the mobilization of people and the resources that you have towards fulfilling or applying or executing the strategic choices that you've made so that you can move your organization from your current reality to your future reality in an industry you and you understand in an environment you understand especially as it moves towards the future while you're surrounded with competition so that's why transformation and leadership at this stage is paramount because it is hard to transform people it is very hard to transform to change people even when it comes to some minor or more than minor changes so imagine how hard and monumentally difficult it is to go into the process of transforming people with all their mindsets with their legacies with their viewpoints with their values with their uh, histories with their loyalties with their interpretation of uh, the future and the present with the difficult and complex network of relationships and alliances and, and animosities that they have in their current reality so transformation involves understanding all of that and while understanding all of that you mobilize people and you mobilize the resources in the direction of the strategic choices that you've made. Transformation also involves intelligent courage, intelligent boldness. Because since we're talking about transformation, we're talking about significant, deep change. Hence the word transformation, you know, trans, it means change, form means the way you look. So it's you're transforming, you're, you're changing the entire format, right? So it's significant and it's deep, radical change. And that within that, there is boldness within that there is courage that's required. But we're talking here about intelligent courage. Because the last thing you want to do is reckless courage or reckless boldness when you're talking about something as significant and profound as transforming departments, companies, ministries, countries, organizations. So without courage, without boldness, you cannot do transformational leadership. And without intelligent courage, courage and boldness, there is a high exposure that you will make major steps that are in the wrong direction, make wrong moves, that will cost you significantly. Once you've done all of that, you have to understand that you have to lay the foundations of embedding everything that you've done in the right and appropriate culture so what you have to do is turn and make everything that you have done as part of a culture so that it goes and it filters into the entire organization the entire country and the entire ministry because transformational leadership and change at that level if you want to you know move a company or organization or a department from a certain course into a completely different course or if you want to move a setup a system into a world-class level you have to do that you have to make sure that this spirit is filtered into the entire organization at every level that's why I'm talking about culture because what is culture culture is the way things are done in every aspect culture is manifested in the way we handle our relationships the way we practice what we do the way we interact the way we deal with reality the way we deal with problems the way we deal with our mindset so you have to establish the right culture so that whatever you have done 
covers every aspect of your country organization or department. 